guys, it is Son of Tidy Whitey back again with another video and stream for you guys today. And today I'm playing a green red aggro deck, Gruel Aggro. Um, this is the, uh, a deck that I think went 9 0 and 1, so that is 9 wins and a tie um, in a historic tournament two days ago. Um, this deck looks extremely powerful, and I have played it a little bit on my own, and I've I have like a 50% win rate with it. Just tr you know, when you first start, you're gonna lose your first few games, and the fact that I had a 50% win rate still making misplays is just amazing. Um, yeah, this looks really really fun. Um, I'm just gonna run it. I got some cool lands. Uh, I got the the cool unlands. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Let's drum to, to some traditional historic ranked. I'm trying to still trying to get out of platinum. This is this is the longest it's been in a while that I've been in platinum, so that's kind of annoying, but it's okay. On the play against Mr. Mustang, uh, we will mully that. I mean. I think we're gonna keep in the bottom of Spellbreaker. This is actually really bad showing of the deck. Um, not having a play until three is bad, especially against like a Rakdos type of deck, but we have like a bunch of powerful three drops. I think we'll be fine. Plus we have Coco, Coco go Loco. This deck usually has like, uh, always has a one and two and then never has lands for three and four. So these, these both of those two hands that I've seen um, are kind of odd. Okay, it looks like he's gonna take our Spellbreaker or our Coco. Don't think he really wants the Ronus. Actually, he might. Um, uh, it's, it's obviously this is just Rakdos Pyromancer. Um, this deck is fine, but it's kind of like eh against like every single deck, <laughs> which is a little annoying. But it's eh against us as well. So we'll see. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Yes, yes, sir. That is a Dreadhorde Arcanist. We will haste and swing. Uh, we're not gonna be able to play Coco because he'll steal it from us, but at least he's losing two life to do it um, So we're good. He lost four life to the Stotsies. No way. Yeah, no way we keep that Coco uh, Take one. Oh, no That's interesting um, line Okay, it doesn't find anything worthy of anything. I don't think unless maybe claim can and steal one of my creatures and make me sack it, or he'll sack it to kill my other creature. I don't know, we'll see what he does. Never know, never know what the opponent's got up their sleeve. Oh, that's a major oof. Would have really wanted that, uh, Coco. It's all good though, we're gonna put him to probably 11. I don't, oh, no, 10, he didn't block. Oops, made a misplay, should have played Mountain first, so I could have adventured. It's all good, it's all good, dude. It's rather typical. Um, I don't know. I'm so I'm still you know not really getting used to the deck. I'm just talking to you guys, and that's the problem. Mm. Okay. Well, he can swing with his Arcanist, get claim right, so we don't have a blocker because we'll claim the Love Strike Beast before blocks, and then I assume he'll sacrifice it to like the the one mana black sorcery, sacrifice a creature, destroy target creature, pretty much. Nope. Okay, claim to fame and then do it. That'd be bad. But then he only has one trigger. No, he's going to combat and he passes. Oh, hello, Coco. Um, Coco go loco. Coco go very loco. Coco is the localist. The localist Coco to ever Coco a loco. That's a sorcery. Uh, I assume he chumps the love struck beast with the stitcher supplier. Coco loco. Every time I get Coco off, I always feel like I'm winning the game or I'm losing the game. There we go. I guess I guess I'll do that. Eleven for five. Interesting line um, by the opponent. What does he have? What does he have? Ooh. Okay. Decides not to play anything. Yeah. See, now we can like block his Arcanist with whatever we get off our claim. I mean, our Coco. Coco, Coco go loco. Coco too good. Also, I got I bought both the fifty dollar deals. So I got this cool boy. Oh, oh, you can take up his arms. Sick. Let me, let me, let me. Oh, 
Oh, only this one? Oh, that's, that's kind of cool, dude, though. It's kind of sick. Attackers? Um, hmm. Claim. Here's the thing. We can collect a company and... Oh, no, he's just attacking for one. No box. Um, I'm still just getting a removal spell. I'm, we're, he's at five. Like, I don't really care about killing this thing right now. It's not doing anything. I just want to want to beat his face and not get hit by a sorcery speed removal spell. Sure. And step Coco. Counterspell. <laughs> Pact of negation. Get him. No. That's big sad. We only got one. We only got one creature off that. That's actually really sad. Okay. Uh, combat. Oh, I'm, oh I'm, I almost made a misplay there. I was about to say, oh no, I should have adventured and cast just so I didn't like, get beat by a shock. What does he have? What does he have? What does he have? Death touch? Build your eggs. Okay. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Mills out three lands and then draws two cards. Nice. Nice, Matt. Love Strike Beast. Love Strike Beast. Tap Stomping Ground. Yes, we're playing it. Kenra. Um, this is six mana to eternalize, so that's good. <laughs> Still in a really good position. Uh, if he has like shock though, that's kind of bad, or some direct damage for him, just so because he, he can kill both my one ones. Oh my god, again. Okay. Uh, there's a villager. It's an innocent blood. Uh, he probably will just get the. I don't even know what he'll get actually. Oh, he can get claim and village rights or something. Claim and innocent blood, stuff like that. Claim the firstborn. He has claimed the firstborn. My firstborn! Swings out? Nope. Yes. I, I don't understand why he wouldn't. <laughs> He's just gonna go like, what, innocent blood or something? Village rights? Maybe probably village rights just because he wants some cards. Innocent blood, okay. We'll sack his beast, we'll sack this. No blocks declared. Um, interesting line. Shock. He definitely has to be wedding. I don't know. Uh, 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 what is going on? <laughs> oh, no, what now? Oh, Village Rights again, number four? Is that number four? That's really number four, right? Uh, two. I mean, number three. Okay. Mills out. Okay. Land. Big. Kenra, do you even want to do that? No, we'll play it next turn. You know why we're playing next turn, ladies and gents? Um, we don't want to get hit by a sorcery speed removal spell because those are like real pains in the butt. Like, like him going like claim on it because it still is, it has zero CMC actually, I'm pretty sure, so. Or two, it either has zero or two, so. Touch your supplier. There's his Crocs, though. And Pyromancer, okay. Young Pyromancer. Young Pyromancer. So, we'll see what he wants to do here. Uh, we're in a pretty bad position, though, right now. Yeah, <laughs> like, really bad position, so. Village rights, okay. Saxus, Titcher, Supplier. Mills, two Pyromancers, and a Thought Seize. Draws two cards. He hasn't played a land this turn, I don't think, so that's something to note. Uh, obviously not blocking. We can, I guess we can go like Earthshaker Kenra, stop his Arcanist from being able to block, force him to block with Luris to stay alive. Right? Or is he exile really cling to dust? Okay. Um, Cleave would be nice. No, I want you to be like, shock! Eh, he shocks, I scoop. Eh, I think I scoop anyway. Cleave would have been nice there, um, but Rakdos Pyromancer just just drew pretty well. Not even though it just it's you know, it did what it wanted to do. You know, it did it did its thing. It did the thing. That's good against Pyromancer. That's good against Pyromancer. That's fine against Pyromancer, but I don't think Cleave really needed that much. Um, Ronus is rather slow. These just get exiled. Thought Collector is also rather slow. Hmm. 
what to get rid of. Maybe Primal Might. Removal spells aren't the best in this situation when he only has chump, well, always has chump blockers. Like, I mean, th this type of removal spell isn't really good when they always have chump blockers. Um, Cause they'll just chump, you know, yeah, I mean, I guess you can put it on a spell breaker, but it's kind of niche. Yay. Oh my God. Three collected companies. Thank you, Shuffler. Thank you. Oh, oh, beloved Shuffler. I always forget that I mulligan twice. Oh, this game's over. Um, this deck doesn't usually mulligan that much at all. It's kind of annoying that it didn't do so much right now. Well, they didn't thought use us at least. Yay. We're gonna go Scooze now, just because next turn we probably wanna go Mountain Robber off the two red and then Scooze a creature out of his graveyard unless it already comes back, which it probably will. Claim the f to fame. Oh, okay. Oh, dang. Now we need to stomp. <laughs> okay. Now we're, we're pretty screwed. Uh, come do that. Combat. Attack. What's that? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, damn. Oh. Oh. Gonna let it hit because we kind of want to exile the priest or whatever he goes to get back with um, claim. He's looking at his Luris. No Crocs, huh? Okay. Okay, village rights it. Or did he have collateral damage? Okay, village rights. It's a pretty good value. Makes me discard a land. I lose three life, and it goes to the grave. Two attackers. Sides to swing. Sure. End of the turn, we'll exile Croxa. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Players can't gain life. No, why does it do this to me? <laughs> why? I'm not gonna play it. I'm fine with just eating his best two creatures and gaining two more life. And once I run out of creatures and stuff for him to get for me to get, then I'll play this Frostnot. Or maybe like if I draw a green land or in any land actually, so I can play the Frostodon and still have a Scooze trigger held up because I don't want to get beat by a claim. Young Pyro. Yeah, we don't have any removal spells right now. That's a problem. Noxious Grasp. Well, we will num 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 on that, and we will num 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 on that. Gain some life. Um, keep his creatures out of the grave. And then we'll play Frost on. Well, there's land. Frost on. Double strike, trample, menace. This if we win this game, then we have hope. And we come in with a, hopefully we'll be able to keep seven rather than five, right? Like we'll be feeling a lot better. Also, Frost on's really good against the one ones, not just an added bonus. Gets Luris back, okay. Can't swing. As he can actually, but I don't I don't, want, I don't think he should. And he thinks it's just the the citrus fly. Yeah, I'm not gonna block that. Cleave would be amazing land. Land off top, or we draw a creature. I don't see how we can draw a bat here. Okay, Spellbreaker. Counter on it. I lose a life. I lose a life. Village right staying. Okay. Oh, why not? Creature, you gain three. Okay, he's gonna gain three. No, he's not. Ha, got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Beat him. Got him. Get him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right. So now we're in a pretty position. We're no longer in a good position. Please. I swear, that last card's your removal spell. I'm going to be so mad. Or a sack effect or something. Like, please don't. Please have mercy. Uh, why should it be like a shock? 
just totally ran into that. Okay. Ping him. Please just play the land. Okay. Go to darkness. Ping him. Yo, we actually might have won this game right here, right now. Okay, we can we can either one exile like all, all this. He can, we can exile his ditchers and heal all those and then swing out. Or I think we just have him cleave. Um, combat will do this if we do the math right and he doesn't block or something. Whatever, we'll see. Oh, if he blocks like if he blocks the one one, then we don't have him. No, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm 99% sure he's just dead. We put on the frost on, we kill both of them first striker. And then, yeah, he's dead. Wow, we win on a mullet to five. Boom, got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. To negative two, he falls. Mustang AJ. Yes, sir. All right, what do we want now? Um, we. I wish he had like Crypt or something just to exile everything from the graveyard because that graveyard gets filled fast. Fast. Filler. Uh, looks like we're, we're fine. We should keep count of how many actual removal spells we have. We have six hard removal and three underworld fires. Okay. Underworld fires is so good, by the way. It kills, like, it kills um, Pyromancer, all of its tokens. Exiles Pyromancer, by the way. It kills Pyromancer, all of its tokens, and the um, Stitcher suppliers, and exiles them, too. So no triggers there, no triggers there. Can't come back from the, with the other guy. Just value. It is good. Plain old value. We're gonna get Thoughts East for sure. Oh, he didn't have it. Ladies and gentlemen, he did not have a Thoughts East on one. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is, what is this madness? Croxes. Okay. Uh, I think we discard Robber the Rich. Scooz and then Clothis. Um, unless Scooz survives. Survives. But I don't think Scooz will survive. Scooz will probably get like claimed and village righted or something. Uh, the red black sack, double. The claim and village. The claim of the firstborn and then village rights. Oh, he claimed it. He claimed something else. He claimed it. Got him. Um, I think we just let the spellbreaker go to the grave. We have we have collector company to find other things. We need them. Only has mountains. Exile Scooz. There's shocks to Scooz. A braid Scooz. Ooh ooh, getting fancy. Um oh, how close? He's nowhere near. Clothis, God of Destiny. <laughs> it depends. If we draw a land, then I will exile Clothis. If we do not draw a land, actually no, I think if we draw a land, I exile the Fame. See, the Fame and the Fame is actually nicer to a target here. Ooh, hello. Okay. Oh, I think we exile the f the Croxa, and then we Bone Crusher Giant Stomp the Pyromancer. Bop! Is he gonna shock our face? Is he gonna collateral damage our face? Collateral damage would be toxic. Don't have it. Don't have it. Oh, he does have it. Dang. Collateral. No, red cat melee. Red cat melee your own creature. Sure, then. I guess he's fizzling my, my bone crusher. That's kind of like um, just killing my bone crusher. Yeah, I guess that was fine. Mm. Gotta do what you gotta do, man. What do we have in that graveyard? Gonna exile the claim to fame. Gonna bolt the arcanist. Hello. Scooze. Scooze, scooze, scooze. He has a village rights for sure, but let's not let him use it this turn. And if he goes to village rights, the one one, I will bolt his. Yes, got him. I knew it, I knew it, see? Big brain, big brain plays. Gotta, gotta hold it, gotta wait. All right, now we're in a commanding lead. We have Coco in hand, Colophis on the board, constantly draining him, Scoo's on the board also. Thoughts he's, oh, rip, rip Coco. Uh oh, it's falling apart real fast. <laughs> Not just to grasp the Scoo's, no, 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 <laughs> no. Don't do this madness. What is this, what is this? What is this craziness you've, you've got in your brain? Um, Arcanist is, is scarier. Arcanist is a big scary boyo. Um, we'll pass, because he didn't play any creature and obviously we have a stomp in our hand, like duh. Duh. Okay. 
Um, well, now we're definitely not exiling this. Let's take out um, Thoughtseize. And we can go Scooze, exile the creature. Scoozity Woozity. Scoozity Woozity, just can't lose it. -y. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. It's all over for him now. Boom, boom, bop, bop. We have exiling. We have a whole lot of life. That doesn't do anything. It's a three mana, three, two. Actually, it was a six mana, three, two, pretty much. Um, I'll scooze my own graveyard. Get another scooze. Be gone, scooze. Go away. I'm a man of God. Ah. Spellbreaker. All right, well, we're feeling pretty good about this, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Uh, we'll take out the village rights. Highest value target. Combat, attack with the scoos. Does he have village rights? Uh, he might just do that. Yeah, looks like he might have a village rights. Damage. Village rights. Alrighty then. Uh, we will exile Luris in response to that. Uh, it's just, it's just, just in case, you know, never know. You know, but you never know. You know. You know that you never know. Alright, three cards in hand for the opponent. Two cards, one card. There's a Pyromancer. Alright, that'd be kind of annoying if you have like Village Rights. Not even Village Rights wouldn't do much good. Um, claim the Firstborn. Um, okay, Resolves. Gonna hit us for six, I guess, then. Sure. Spellbreaker's nice draw. Uh, we'll take out Village Rights. Put him to seven. Spellbreaker, Haste, Combat, the team. He scoops! Woo! Wow, big comebacks. Big comebacks. Winning on a mulligan to five, and then winning um, just on the draw against the deck that actually drew pretty well. Cloth is just such a house. Against the red-black Pyromancer deck, just continuing and continuing and continuing to just exile and exile and exile all their stuff. It's how you win. Okay, with my hair. I'm looking at my hair in the, in the thing. Hold up. I'm gonna fix my hair and then I'm not gonna play with it anymore, okay chat? Because I know that's annoying and I watch all my own videos and I when I watch my own videos, then it, it annoys me too. Like I can't pay attention to the game because because you see this this crazy kid playing with his hair all the time. <laughs> what madness is this? On to the next game. Olimari. Okay, Mr. Olimari out here. Being an Olimari. A cool kid. What is Olimari? He's got the same creature as me. How dare he? Copier. And he's got the same icon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Copycat. Copycat. But he's going to be on the play, though. That's annoying. Watch him put him on the play. That'd be so nice. This deck, like, absolutely just smashes on the play. If you get, like, Lanarelds on one, the three dop on two, and the Coco on three, like, this, it's game over. And, I mean, I guess the Jun Sack deck can do that too, but it's playing three colors, and we're only playing two, so we're a little bit more consistent in that way. Mm. I've played both decks. I honestly believe that this deck is better than that deck. Um, Cleave is just a great finisher against all the creature decks, like goblins and stuff. That's how you beat them. You draw a Cleave, you play your Cleave. <laughs> like, Cleave would just win you the game straight up. Um, and then, if you don't play a Gon... Uh, we also have the, the board wipe, the... Underworld Fire is a 2 mana 1 damage, each creature is actually phenomenal. Um, no one really notices it, except for whoever built this deck, so that was really nice. There you go. Uh, I've, I see these hands in Gruul and in Standard sometimes, and they're so sad, but you gotta keep them. In this deck, we have so many creatures, like... Um, and the only thing we, we can really... We, I guess we can draw like another Primal Might, and besides that, it's just like flat-out creatures, so... Well, and lands, obviously, but... We already drew enough lands for a 22 land deck. Ahem, deck, ahem. Ahem, deck, ahem, ahem, deck, 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 <laughs> deck. Please, please. Are you there? No, I'm throwing. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm too busy goofing off. Probably, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Why is your ability? It is tap three. Yeah, tap three. You're, what do you what do you have? What do you have? Oh, I guess he can like Frankstein Tower sack it at double black. Discard a card, get a two-two. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I totally do that by the way. <laughs> like completely do that. Oi! It's okay, not gonna happen again. We know what we're playing against. This is mono black gift, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... This card is so broken. Why did they think that a, a two mana, a five mana to just two, uh, three mana, and then two mana to just two dot whatever you want? That is way too powerful. Why? Why? I mean, I guess it's early. Like he's nothing in the graveyard. Except that's gonna come back as a four four, doesn't it? That's so insane. That that's so so insane. Oh uh, no! Why? Why? Gate. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Question mark. What? Why do you need two? You're gonna you're gonna play both. What do you need two for? Huh? Huh? Well, we're gonna go to combat. We're gonna swing. Bada 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 bada. What a clee! What a clee! My friend, and cleave, and cleave, and by cleave. Yes, yeah, sir. Here go. Here go. Here go. He had a curve breaker, so we're gonna have to worry about that. Um, no, he, he had a curve breaker. It should just be dead now, right? Just got a card because I'm. Um, yeah, okay. You know, I think you draw a card. He just he just drew and discarded a gift. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Only one. Oh, we can two drop the graveyard, can it? Graveyard hand black Of course. I'm, I'm mad. He's going mad. I'm still. What is going on? Why do you not activate that? That only works on combat. You get it in, and you start. What does this card do again? It makes him come back as four fours, right? Yeah, you create a token of that copy, and it comes back as a four four. Gains haste another turn. That's just, that's just good. I don't understand. <laughs> Why would you refuse to 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 play it? Combat. Swing with both of these because we can Coco out um, a creature to make this not trade. Coco. Spellbreaker. Earthshaker. Spellbreaker. Earthshaker. Woo! Spellbreaker. Earthshaker. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sick beats. Sick beats. Spellbreaker. Earthshaker. Alright, what you got? What you got? What you got, opponent? What you got? You got three lands out on top of your deck, don't you? No, 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 you don't. He's dead. He does not. Is that two fiend artisans? Those fiend artisans? Two fiend artisans. Fiend artisans. What did he just play? How did he just sacrifice that? Ah, Phyrexion Tower. Draw. Discard. Draw. Discard. Draw this card. <laughs> Draw this card. I think that's I got Cracks his other gate. Dang, he's got double gift. He's got two gifts. He has the gift of the gifts. Alright, so he's gonna get back what? Fiendarson. Oh my god, Fiendarson's so good. Like that. That's so that's so that's so good. How is it so good? Yep. Gain taste too, but that doesn't really matter. Just gonna get Fiend Artisan out, I assume, right? And then a butter. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. 11 11 with haste. That's great. What else did you get? Another wait, he had two fiend artisans? What? Why did you get two fiend artisans? You should have okay. Alright, alright, hey, hey, hey. Don't don't tell me how to don't have me tell you how to live your life, Varsky. We're chilling. Uh, I'm gonna switch the equip over here. Uh, and I'm gonna play Robber the Rich. And I'm gonna go to combat and I'm gonna go not swing out because that would be stupid, right? Because we know he has cards in his in his deck. I always want to sacrifice my Kenra just so I mean I can stop something else at the turn next. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I haven't turned the land either, so. 
I assume we'll just want to block. Yeah. Okay, we'll take out a Fiend Artisan and we'll get a counter on a Pell Collector. Land. So we can play. We have a we have a bunch of lines next turn. Oh god, okay. Obliterator. 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 Yes, it is I, the Obliterator. 4-4 four, four Stitcher Supplier. The Obliterator. And what? A letter. Okay. Obliterator. Obliterator. Uh, I don't think we beat double obliterator. Yeah, she just... That's a great top deck, by the way, opponent. Thank you for that amazing obliterator off top. I'm sure that's exactly what you needed, actually, so... Just glad I glad I could help. Um, well, we need these, um, and we need hopes and prayers. That's basically it. He's just gonna play his creatures and kill us. Um, do we have any? What else makes one wing? One 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 toughness creatures. Besides Crypt Breaker, no. So no, none of this, none of this madness. Um, and we still lost, by the way, with a. Uh, oh, with. <laughs> With a cleat, we still just lost a gate. Um, not gate, uh, whatever that card is. Gift. Gift is so good. Gift is just too good. Gift the goat. Hashtag gift is the goat. This deck looks so good. Like, <laughs> triple robber? Sure. Come at me. We shall be robbing it all. We shall we shall rob it all. Ha 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 ha. All mine. So many cards on the top of your deck. All mine for the taking. Ha 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 ha. My land. My swamp. Give me back my swamp. My swamp. Six cards in hand. No doubt land supplier land. Okay. All right, all righty, all right. Okay, righty. Two, two more triggers, steal two more cards. Take one of those amazing Fiend Artisans and a Grasp of Darkness. Ooh, ooh. Hello there, Kenobi. Okay. No, that's not Kenobi, that's hello there. Like, like General Gears, like, hello there. He didn't have a one drop, did he? Yeah, he didn't have a one drop. That's amazing, that's so nice. Thank you for not having a one drop. I love it when they don't have one drops. It makes my life so much easier. And these scoops, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Let's play two fires, because I totally forgot that he's playing that one card, um, Stitcher Supplier. So, being able to deal with all of his turn one plays, like, on turn two, like, especially on the drop, he goes, like, one, and then one, and then we just go, like, underworld fires, we could just be doing fine, you know? Get the hell of fire. Uh, we got him looking at. If that root ground trap, if that last hand, uh, the root ground crag was a stomping ground, I would catch just because I had elves. Multiple elves. Well, we have multiple elves in this hand, but we don't have an underworld fire, so that could be a problem. Um, we'll have to see. We will have to see. Um, okay, that's an <laughs> opponent just really doesn't want to, really, really, really doesn't want to um, ever play more than one land, so. Uh, I'm totally fine with that. Keep doing you, opponent. You you do you. I'll Coco next turn. Thank you very much. I love you. Pass? <laughs> Pass? Hey, okay. Combat, attacks, pass. Coco is about to go loco. Coco about to go loco. But yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Collected company. Okay, that's that's bad. <laughs> that was quite bad. That was quite bad. Horrible, horrible, actually, horrible, actually horrible. What, what is it? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? All right, we'll pass we'll Coco again. We'll get a better Coco this time. I believe in you, Coco. Ah, we're not gonna get a better Coco. You know, actually, we're gonna stamp. Wait a minute. Fill my cup. Put some liquor in it. Sign a check. Theo, stretch, violent, violent, living it up in the city. Got Chuck's on Saint Laurent. Kiss myself, I'm so pretty. Ooh, 
Fire beats. Absolutely fire beats. I told you guys I wouldn't play with my hair. I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep my hand right on this table. Right on this table, right here, right here. I bet untapped and get a love strike beast moment out, but I don't wanna, you know why? Because I don't wanna. No, uh underworld files will kill it. Ooh, hello, citrus supply. Hello. Nope, don't not touching here. Not not touching here at all. No. <laughs> Mustn't touch the hair. But he still doesn't have lands, so that's kinda nice. Swing with that. Swing with the one who swing with it. Coward. You coward! <laughs> Play this and this. Counter on this guy. Alright, guess what? Guess what? Jungle Souls, thank you. Kiss me sound so pretty. Deckers. Boom, bang, bong. Okay. Okay. He's an exile, the obliterator. The obliterator. Bop, boom, pow. And we pass the turn. And it looks like a game. Wow, we're just coming in 2 0. Quick little 2 0, beating up these guys. Ooh, you see, we lose the game one, and then we just go boom, 2 0, 2. You know, 2 0, just boom. And he's dead. Some good games, not gonna lie. High quality. High quality gamer games. Roll shoot. Did I just click something I didn't want to click? No, I'm chilling. We're chilling. Right. Uh, I am gonna be playing a tournament at three on my own. I don't think I'm gonna stream it or record it. I don't really like to because, uh, I don't know, I like doing my tournaments on my own. Kind of just talking to myself, really. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing a tournament. I'll tell you guys how I do, um, probably on my Instagram channel. Of course, if I go 4-0, it'll definitely be on my Instagram channel. Um, if you wanna check out my Instagram channel, I believe there's a link in it in, it, in my bio on YouTube, along with the Twitch link on, in my YouTube bio. And then if you're on Twitch right now, right below, if you scroll down, um, you're gonna see YouTube, Instagram, and a link to Next Gen Games' website. Um, and they are uh, my gaming store, my, my LGS. I love them, they're, they're, the guys there are super nice. Um, they sell singles, or they sold singles before you know COVID-19. Um, I'm sure they will when we come back. Uh, they did tournaments every day, pretty much, for Magic, along with other tournaments. So if you are not only interested in Magic, let's say Warhammer or um, Star Wars, the Star Wars game with the with the fighters, the star like the star fighters. Um, that they also have that. So there's a bunch of things. Okay, first of all, we're playing it's Mono Green. Yeah, just don't check them out. Um, they're in Los Angeles. Uh, they're the only WPN certified store in Los Angeles, which is Wizards Play Network. I'm pretty sure Wizards Pro Network. Um, so yeah, they're the, they're pretty much the best store in Los Angeles. Check them out. They're really nice. This is a grill mirror. This is gonna be fun. Let's go, buddy. Come at me. I have a better hand than him, so. I don't know what I have, and he could be thinking the same thing. Ah, this guy got a crappy hand. No way he beats me now. Uh, we'll see. Um, let's go one, because we only have two multiples of two anyway. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll kill that. We'll, 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 we'll kill that. Boom, 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 What the heck? What the heck? What is this? What is this grumbly madness? What is this? What is this? What? 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 Grumbly combat swing. You gonna block? You gonna block? Trust me, you gonna block. Trust me. Trust me. I have, I have, uh, like, three unleashed furies. <laughs> I wish. Not really. Actually, that card kind of, kind of bad. Kind of do do. Not gonna lie. Kind of do do. Kind of do do. Uh, doo -doo. Uh, okay. And none of his cards are full art because he's not cool like we are. Look at this guys. Look at the, look at his team. Team pro gamers. Also we have like hella rob hella robbers. All the robbers. Rob. Rob. What did we rob? We robbed a robber. You ever just rob a robber? Lol, we robbed a robber. We're out here robbing robbers. <laughs> My robber now. How many robbers 
I have five robbers in my deck now. Get out of here. Get out of here. I shall rob another robber from you if you don't leave. Let's go. Let's go rob some more. Got him. Okay, that was that was interesting. He did he decided to trade and he lost the game, most likely because of that. So Whoa, tinglies. Don't like this. Creatures are too big. Don't really like uh, that's fine actually. Um do like that. I do like that. I actually don't really like this. I don't he didn't have scoops. I mean he didn't see much of his deck at all, but I mean I'm gonna end up losing more life than him if I if the game went like that again, I'm gonna lose more life to my own things than he is. Oh, that's also another thing. Um, that three mana three three menace is just so good against the pyromancer deck. Like it'll deal like five six damage per turn. Like if they're playing like three or four spells, they're taking three or four damage. It's just amazing. If they have pyromancer and if they have multiple pyromancers out, oh my god, oh my god, and it stops them from gaining life off the claim. Poppy, 83. After this game, um, I'm gonna end the stream uh, and the video just because I really need to use the restroom and I also need to rest, rest my brain a little bit before the tournament. Uh, this is something I advise everyone who plays in the tournament online to do. Um, especially, like, usually I try not to play at all any magic at all before, but t seeing as this one's starting at three, for me, um, it'll end at like five or six, and that's just kind of like I can't wait till five or six to, to stream, so I'd, I'd rather not. So I'm doing it now, and I'm, I'm getting you know, I'm getting this over with, but this is fun, trust me. It's not, I just said I'm getting it over with, but I it's fun. I like streaming for, with you guys and showing you guys all the cool things that my decks do because my decks are the best decks. Duh. Duh. Also, Robber is so good. In, in mirror matches or against like other aggro decks, Robber is just so powerful because it's just like drawing another card, pretty much. So unless it's a land, then you don't get to draw a card. It's also, oh, what the? Oh, what the? What the heck? Oh, uh, you know what, we have big brain play. Ready, are you ready? Big brain play time. We saw a Domri's ambush, right? I'm not crazy, okay. So we'll, we'll Domri's ambush your, your thingy. Combat. I should play the untapped land. Whoops, doesn't matter. Oopsie doopsie. I would have got a draw with a tri trigger, but I didn't, so that's fine. We did just two full on a phoenix there. I know, it's annoying, but. Look at his arm falls off. How cool. Can we make his arm fall off? No, he didn't. He didn't have it. He didn't, he didn't have it. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life now. He didn't, he didn't have it, man. What, what is this? What is this madness? What is this absurdity? Combat swing. I have more. <laughs> my opponent struggling to deal with my first robber. My hand, two robbers, two more robbers. No, taking one damage off of a cinder. Why would you play that? Oh, I guess instant speed removal for cleave. Um, cool, but I'd rather you just have instant speed. I think you would rather have instant speed removal. I'd rather you have that, but I'm sure it'll come to bite me in the butt in, in this game where I'm just going to be like cleaving. Like, nope, cinder binds. Got him. Uh, we'll go scoos. Combat. Charge. Big five five boyo. You have a pump spell? Nope. Okay. We will play one robber, hold up one mana, and take up Swoosh to a three three. Uh, if you had a stomp, you think you would have used it on my one one, right? Never know. This guy's playing uh, probably a lot worse, obviously, than our deck, because our deck's the best deck ever. But, uh, that's that's just straight up facts, man. Combat. Swings with the that guy. Swings with the that guy. Yes, the that guy. You ever just swing with the that guy? Yeah, the that guy. You know, the best. You don't know the that guy, you're just not living. Oh, does, can we scooze away Phoenix? Yeah, Phoenix got a lot worse. Uh, with, the, with the release of, of scooze and... All these graveyard-based strategies, it feels like like Phoenix is just kind of bad right now. Combat. Attackers. Charge. Except for you. You, you, you chill over there. You chill over there! Rob two cards. 
Oh, we robbed another robber. <laughs> and we got a Dommy's ambush. Yo, sick, dude. Yo, sick, dude. Sick, dude. He's kind of dead. We just got such good robs. Like, we just robbed him so well. We're so good at robbing. Okay, he wants to trade a questing beast from a two drop. And uh, I will say okay. And then we will... No, oh, we... We traded a robber for a robber and hit him for the other robber and traded with a robber with a robber, robber, Roberto, robber. I'd rather have an, another multiple two creature than kill his own creature. Um, I can kill his creature whenever the heck I want. No, I'm just kidding. But I mean, obviously, it's probably just better to have that. Um, the removal spell is sorcery speed, but... Mm -hmm. No, I'm touching my hair. Stop this. Stop this, hands. I must drink. I must acquire water for the pack. Yo, sick, dude. Um, adventure. Adventure. Time. Adventure time. Nothing like that. Okay, anyway. Um, we will we will pay zero actually because I'm too cool for you. Uh, this. Um, this. Yeah. Boom. All right. Now you need um two removal spells. Does uh, this thing work again? No, just kidding. Um, we also have two robber triggers. We will get a land of our elves and a forest. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's, he's dead. Dead. Boom, bop, pow, negative three egos. All right, that's a quick little 3-0, ladies and gentlemen, 3-0, um, against people who are probably in Mythic. Uh, so yeah, that is that is amazing. That is game. That is fun. Yay, magic. Um, boom, play this deck. Uh, if you won the list, it's in the beginning of the, of the video. Yes. Um, deck super fun. Consistent uh, as you just saw I just quickly 3 0 not really. I mean like I, I I lost game one two games in a row But I mean doesn't really matter if you lose game one as long as you lose the next two as long as you win the next two All right, so boom 3 0 um, great video great deck and I hope to see you guys tomorrow or the day after um, Having went 4 0 in an hour Peace out